Guys, look at this. This is the dragonfly. Have a look at this. So we've got a six barrel Gatling gun. Hey guys, B Snappy here. I'm here with Jason Esope. He's the commanding officer of the number 100 squadron in the RAF. And he just landed in this amazing Dragonfly jet. How are you, Jason? So where do you fly from today? So I uh, flew the Mighty Dragonfly from Tamora today. So this is an Air Force Dragonfly yep. on number 100 squadron, but it's based and looked after by the Tamora Aviation Museum for the RAF. So how many of these are flying in Australia? So this is the only dragonfly that's flying in Australia. Very, yeah. very special. There are a couple of other dragonflies around that aren't flying at the moment, but may fly in Australia. But this is certainly uh, one of the best that you'll find anywhere in the world. So how did you get the top job to fly this beast? So I'm actually a uh, fighter, pilot, fighter pilot by trade in the RAF. I fly the F-18 Hornet. Yep. And I'm doing a command tour with number 100 squadron yep. for about three years. And as the commanding officer and also as a pilot, I get to fly the amazing aircraft that are part of number 100 squadron. So this is obviously a nuggety, powerful jet, love flying it. And I also fly the Mustang down at Point Cook. So what sort of airspeed do you get out of the Dragonfly? So the Dragonfly, you could fly them above 400 knots, but because we're preserving these aircraft for the generations of the future, we fly them very gently. So we yeah. would fly this aircraft around the 250 to the 300 knot mark while we're doing a display, low power on the engines, low g-forces just to really look after it so has this actually seen operational services yes it has so this was an operational aircraft it served with the united states forces that were over in vietnam and yeah. it flew operational missions in vietnam hey yeah uh, we've got a couple of panels open do you want to have a look at a few features yeah have sure. a look at this so we've got a six barrel gatling gun yeah um used for strafing targets on the ground yeah, absolutely uh, fabulous. So it's got a real sting to it. It's actually a Cessna aircraft, um, a derivative from the Tweet. So it, the original design is actually a training aircraft, which is why it's side by side. Yeah. But this was beefed up. Like it's yeah. got a lot of pylons on it. It's got really powerful engines and it would carry guns as we've already seen. You can load rocket pods uh, underneath the wings. You know, it really was a versatile airplane. It could almost carry its own weight. Uh, it was that nuggety. And you can see oh, here wow. at the moment, I've got two drop tanks under the wing here. Same on the other wing. There's a smoke tank that's actually for air shows. And then on the tips, it's also uh, got fuel tanks as well. So you can yeah. fill this up with fuel to go a long way, or you could drop these fuel tanks off and stick weapons on there. So what is the range on full tanks? So uh, if we filled up the tanks fully, it would do about three hours. It depends really what you're doing because of these jet engines, right? They drink a lot of fuel. Yeah. So you could burn all of that fuel in about an hour up high pull the throttles back you could fly for about three hours and it'll do in cruise 280 nautical miles per hour wow. so if we round it off to 250 that's yeah. about 750 nautical miles can we have a quick look in the cockpit yeah absolutely come over the side here and throw your head in so as you can see there it's still uh era specific so this was the instrumentation that it had when it was on operations yeah. and you can see here we've still got the uh the bomb site it's still got all of the armament switches for guns rockets and it's got the trigger still on the stick there yeah. clearly we don't have them connected yeah. but all of the switches that it would have used when it was operational they're all still in there so side by side seating do you still train people no we don't so this aircraft is used to showcase the aircraft to the australian public yeah. um, however because it is side by side and it has dual controls anybody that would be doing a conversion you can fly with an instructor yeah. but we don't use this airplane for instructional missions <laughs> so if you were to train somebody would you prefer if they wore a red shirt so what are you saying i think you'd fit perfectly in the dragonfly <laughs> yeah. i haven't got the size of it there it's uh well yeah you're about the right size right yeah the controls the rudders the weapon aiming switches i reckon you'd fit in here just nicely yeah so what about these jets? What are they? So you're going to see this fly on the weekend if you're here. These are very powerful engines for this aircraft. Yeah. They're actually Learjet engines. So they're modern compared to the actual airframe itself. So you watch the takeoff. This thing really gets up and goes. Jason, I look forward to seeing you fly on the weekend and you are a very lucky pilot. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. And uh, thanks for having the chat and hi to all the followers. <laughs>